L-E-G-O, small plastic bricks building the coolest things ever. I know that you love Lego. I absolutely love Lego. But do you, nerd? Welcome, nerdlings. Kyle the Collector here asking, do, do you, you nerd? nerd? Well, do you? What's up, nerdlings? You know, generally the toys are kind of your area of expertise. But not this time. Yeah, I won the mighty Bowser in Lego form from our local Lego shop. I absolutely do love to visit this as many times as we possibly can, but not too much because it hurts the pocketbook. But I love the um, Lego minifig store. I, I like Lego, I really do, but I actually don't put together a whole lot of Lego sets, whereas you do. Yeah. And so this was <laughs> trial by fire jumping <laughs> in to this build because we are talking 2,807 pieces. This took a little bit of time. It did take some time. But it is such a great build. First of all, there's a lot of curvature to this. His spikes, to like his legs, even his facial features. Even his shell. Yeah, Bowser has a lot of rounded edges that mm -hmm. actually transferred over very well in Lego form. It really did, because I mean, very much the traditional Lego has always been squares, but they have come a long, long way from just the square brick they nailed so many details on Bowser too, from his spiked collar to the spiked armbands, wristbands and everything. Plus his face is so expressive. It's kind of weird, but it's still cool that you could actually move his eyeballs around. And I love that he has so much movement in his eyebrows because let's oh, face it. Sad. Yeah, you can make him sad, you can make him angry. But just that little touch, he has a lot of movement. You can open his mouth up and take a look at those chompas. Of course, you also have to be careful because when you open that mouth, he spits fire. He can shoot fireballs out. I also like his uh, sort of posable hands. He at least has a posable thumb so he can hang on to things. That's actually a great touch because I often put a little Princess Peach figure in there for him to hold on. As she said, the thumbs move, the rest of the fingers don't, but the thumbs do give him some grip. His wrist rotates all the way around, his elbows bend, and they have this clickiness in place that makes mm -hmm. me think of some of your action figures. Yeah, some of that, like, to hold it in place so that you can put it in a pose and it's not gonna lose that pose. And of course, a little bit of movement in the shoulder. Again, the clickiness. Was it your Marvel Legends that really yeah. adheres mm -hmm. to that clickiness? Yeah. And last of all, he comes on this base. What I really like are all of these almost broken stones, slabs of concrete Yeah, it's almost right like here. he came down and smashed them. Then you have a really neat little step that you can pull out and it's got a little, I don't know, it's not really a QR code, but whatever that code is that works with the Lego Mario so you can set him on there and he makes some noises when you set him on there. One downside to this stand is these pillars come loose super easy. It makes a little sense for the one that has a hidden PAL block in it, but for the other, I mean, it just, I don't know, it seems like it comes off. Of course, you could just be very dynamic and Bowser could be throwing a fit. <laughs> Maybe that's what it's for. Something that I was a little slightly disappointed in, I do kind of wish that there was like a little light in the um, in the torches there, make them light up a little bit. A closer upper look at the mighty Bowser with your Lego expertise. <laughs> what did you think of this and how well? Honestly, it I thought it did a really, really good job. It really, I feel like captures Bowser's expression. So, you know, the imagination guy who came up with this did a really amazing job. You did a great job putting it together for not being so well with Lego, but that's something that Lego is amazing at. If you've never done a Lego set before, I, I highly recommend it because those books are so easy to understand. I mean, they break it down brick, literally by brick. And a lot of the newer sets have an online app that you can use. And sometimes they'll even be in an animation so that you can spin it around and see the pictures a little better. Don't be afraid, do Lego. All right, well, nerdlings, please leave some comments down below on what you think of Lego Bowser here. 
And let us know, do you collect any of the Lego Mario sets? Maybe the Lego Donkey Kong sets now? Mm. And is anyone hoping for a Lego Zelda series? Oh, Ooh. that would be awesome. That would be amazing. All right, well, coming up next is a montage of the build of the Mighty Bowser. And in the meantime, I am going to take this guy and I'm going to terrorize all of your Hogwarts builds. Oh, no. <laughs> look out, Harry, look out! <laughs>
this is a gorgeous looking base. It looks great because all of these like... <laughs> Wanna do YouTube faces? Nothing. <laughs>